Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page eight, page eight. And I have to say, and I keep saying it, this, this is one of my favorite patterns. I think these two little birds are so stinking cute. So this is gonna be page eight, but it's also from the 12 by 12 collection pack gonna be on the cover of this because I just find it so sweet. So what have we got here? We've got a simple pocket that is, let's see, four and a five, five by nine, five by nine you're going to score a half inch on three sides and we're going to make a pocket. We're going to put it, um, let me think about how page eight goes. We're going to put it on the left hand side and that way um, if, if anything happens, whatever's in the pocket is going to slide to the spine and not slide out of the book. So it is going to be to the left hand side and I just wanted to share with you why I'm doing left versus right. So typically I store my albums uh, upright just because I think they're so pretty. Um, I want, when I walk by them, it's hard to walk by them because I want to pick them up. Uh, so I store them upright. And then um, also a lot of times when you pick an album up, you pick it up with the spine down to open it, right? So that's one of the design reasons why um, if I have a side pocket, I want it typically to point to the spine. Not always, but that's kind of a, a rule of thumb. Sometimes the pattern I'm working with doesn't allow for that um, and then I may have to go to one side or the other because of the design element itself. Now in this case this happened to be on the left hand side of the design so it's going to work out perfectly but because of the way I split it I could also actually do this too and you wouldn't notice much of a difference but this is actually how I cut it apart. So that's enough of um, the reasons why I designed it that way. But I do like to drop that in every now and then when I'm thinking about it, just so you guys have that, you know, in your in your pocket, in your arsenal when you go to uh, design your own albums. Just things to think about. How do people pick up the album if I have a pocket um, and for whatever reason things want to slide around, where is it going to slide to? You don't want it to slide out of the book and fall. Okay, so there we go. So this is super simple. And then I'm going to put a 7x7 seven seven insert in it. I haven't chosen the pattern yet, but I can tell you it's going to be a 7x7. Seven seven. And I think I have enough paper left over that I can actually make it a bifold so you can put photos on the inside. that a little closer and then um, this is the continuation of the pattern you can see how the ties had come in so this is actually going to slide slightly into the pocket and I'm going to test it first to make sure I can get it in there it should be just small enough yeah so also this is going to be what I call the leading edge it's going to go into the pocket I'm going to leave that without glue so that I can push it into the pocket pull it back out without leaving a, a trail of glue it just makes it easier to get in the pocket it won't pull out um, once it's tucked in there it's really in there um, you don't have to worry about something pulling it back out Pretty nice. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to take a break. I'm going to cut out my uh, photo mat that's going to go in here, and then I'm going to uh, select my pattern that's going to go uh, on top of the insert. Okay, be right back. Okay, I've um, chosen my uh, papers that we're going to use for the insert. So I am going to use. Um, the brown cardstock as the base, then the cream, and then the designer paper. My brown cardstock is seven and one eighth by seven and one eighth. The cream is seven by seven, and then this is six and one eighth, or six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. So that the cream is the one that's seven by seven. You don't have to do the brown um, cardstock. 
I really like the look of it, so I'm going to double map this. <clears throat> I even just like it, <laughs> just plain like this, without the designer paper, but um, it's just beautiful. It makes for a really nice looking, smart looking, um, like a sharp looking uh, photo mat. There we go. And there's our designer paper. And this is from the 8x8 collection pack. So is this 8x8 collection pack. And then the cover is going to feature the same pattern from the 12x12. 12 12. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I love double mats. I think they're really sharp. Um, it does add considerable weight to your album, but I also think a weighty album just feels good in your hands. But look how smart that looks. Love it, love it. And that's going to go in here. And that, ladies, is the end of... And you know what? I think this is upside down, but I like it better because <laughs> I, I like this piece. Um, this is the end of page eight. And the reason I chose this pattern is to pull the plaid back in. So um, when choosing this designer paper, just, you know, pick an element from here that you want to pull back in. So it could be this, could be um, the plaid. Um, but that's kind of um, how I chose this piece. It could also be anything that has a magnolia in it. So that's it for page eight. Um, I'll be back shortly and we'll start working on the cover.